This is a copy of his first newspaper. He just put out his own newspaper. He was trying to speak to the nation about poor people. And he got one copy out. We've been trying to get a newspaper out for three years. We just, you know, got enough equipment. These are, these are his belongings, shaving powder. We had been invited over to a local minister's house for a soul food dinner. And You're just leaving for dinner? Just leaving for dinner. And, and uh, he usually walked out of the door. He's usually dressed and he usually go because he's usually always in a hurry. But he walked out and held over. And the fellow who's been driving us around since Memphis told him, he said, Doc, you better get your coat. He said, OK. And he stood up there a minute or two. And I guess just a uh, thing of destiny, I guess, making, you know, he just was a target there for a minute or two. Uh, because he was fixing to come back in and get his coat on. So all of the side of his face was shot off. But well, it wasn't long before policemen was all around. And then I wonder whether America had really lost his last chance. This day will be the most unforgettable day in my whole life. It's a day that I still have not believed. I still like to believe somebody's crazy enough to kill Dr. King, who wouldn't hurt anybody, but loved everybody, and really gave his life to the salvation of this nation.